Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're going to do an experiment and you're going to be part of it. Um, so basically, since, since Covid really, so since I'd say since March, April 2020, um, my YouTube channel's pretty much bombed. Um, I'm not quite sure why in terms of, you know, it's a hobby for me, so I'm not all up with the analytics and everything. I just know that it, 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 there was a decrease in views, in revenue, in the rate at which I gain new subscribers. Um, and I think that growth at the moment is at an all-time low for me. Now, it could be just that, you know what, I've plateaued. I've reached the position that I'm going to get to. Um, and as I say, this is a hobby for me, so, and that's fine. I, You know, when I first did this, obviously I was making no money at all. I've shared quite openly about, <laughs> I say how much, but how little I make from YouTube on a monthly basis. Um, I don't even make everything on on a monthly basis. It's that poor, um, but it, it that's it's all declared. But that is absolutely fine. I do it for the pleasure. And throughout COVID, this platform really gave me a sense of community and and some people to talk to. So I'm all right with that. However, curiosity has got the better of me, and I thought let's do a little experiment. So this is video, I can say almost video one of the experiment. And um, what I'm going to do, hopefully, fingers crossed, is post a YouTube video every single day at 6 p.m. Starting from yesterday, um, which was Saturday, which is my usual post day anyway. I normally post Saturdays and Wednesdays if I can. I know I recently had like a three week break because I just couldn't. Um, and I won't go into why. <laughs> so I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to do a little bit of content. There's going to be a whole mix of stuff, a mix of topics, a mix of video length as well. If I'm doing, you know, <laughs> that many videos and I've only got a few hours today to film, edit, upload and whatnot, we'll, we'll see how things go. But that's my plan. This is the first video. And today I thought I would talk to you about Dyson Airwrap accessories. Um, if you haven't already, obviously, as you know, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you do hit the bell notification button, then you know whenever I do upload a video. Like I say, this week is gonna be a bit odd, and I'm, I'm only doing it for one week. I mean, there's no way I can sustain that for any longer, not with work as well, where sometimes I do 12 hour days, so not gonna happen. So, back to Dyson. In a previous video, and I will link it up in a, I always get this on the, on the wrong side, I'll link it up in a card. Um, I obtained, for travel purposes, a pouch, direct from Dyson, for my Dyson Airwrap. Now, the one that I ordered was black with pink, and it was like a foldy up, pouch for travel and the idea was it would actually fold quite flat in my suitcase but also provide some protection for the air wrap itself but also attachments and also other things in my case. I'm very I'm always very conscious when I pack a suitcase that I'm not gonna have like a hairbrush with the bristles or anything digging into like a leather handbag. That's not gonna happen with my packing. So <laughs> um that's what I ordered. Now, Dyson, I mean, they were trying to be very helpful. They basically couldn't fulfill my order after a few days or however long it was. I had an email saying, sorry, we've had a stock error. You can't have this item. Here's an item for free. Um, and that's what I talked about in that previous video, which was the storage pouch when I ordered the travel pouch. Now, they had the travel pouch available <laughs> in other colours. I had it black with purple trim and black with um, like a gold copper trim. That would have been a closer <laughs> item to the storage pouch. However, I thought I'll give it a go. I'm saving some money here. Um, both of the price the same price, by the way, which is 40 pounds um, in, in sterling. And I didn't get, I, I, I had a go at it. I put put my item in and I was like, it's, it's not, 
I don't think this is going to pack how I want it to. Anyway, I bit the bullet. I ordered what I wanted. It's still not available in pink to match my air wrap, but I've ordered it in like this copper. So I just thought I would show you what I mean. One thing I will also say about this finish for both products is it's only got to go near my clothing and it picks up beagle fluff. So it's a fluff attractant, uh, if anyone is wondering. So this is what it looks like. We've obviously got this ribbon, which you could, you know, I'm not quite sure the best way of wrapping it around, but you can wrap it around, put it through the loop and tie it so it stays shut. So that's just the top flap. And then, there it is. My air wrap is already in this, as you can see. So I will show you. Before I get that out, I will show you what I've got in the top pouch here. So you've got a little magnetic clip. And then in here, bearing in mind this is a travel pouch and I will use it only for travel. I just store it in a drawer, my air wrap now, um, for day-to-day -day use. So I've got in here, my probably, yeah, you can see the state has got hair in it, um, my most, one of my most used attachments, the volumizing brush. This is really good. I, have, I used a hairdryer today, I haven't used it because it was all packed already and I couldn't bear to unpack it. But um, this is great. This really does add volume and movement and bounce to your hair. So it's the only attachment that doesn't have the coanda effect, but it's actually one of my favorites. So I've got that in there. I would want that when I'm travelling. Obviously, I would want this. Now, I'm trying to buy the new attachment that also will settle flyaways. Constantly out of stock on Dyson. Come on, Dyson, sort it out. Um, I want to buy the new upgraded attachments because I've mine's the older air wrap. But the air wrap machine itself is unchanged. So, until that gets upgraded, I absolutely cannot justify buying a whole new one just for upgraded attachments. So I'm gradually, as I can, trying to buy them here and there and then just selling on vintage my old ones. You know, not for much, but every little help, so. So, the um, rough drying attachment as well, which is a must. So those, and I would always use these together. I will always rough dry and then do the volumizing brush, which is my most frequent way of using the Air App. However, Sometimes we may want to do a bit of a curl effect and that's the beauty of the air wrap over just a traditional hairdryer is that you can do more with it. So I've also packed in here my 20mm long, the upgraded version um, where you only need one barrel. So all that went in there and you saw how nicely and flat it went. If I were to try and put more in, so the other attachments that I own that I wouldn't necessarily need to have with me if I was travelling is I have the new upgraded um, smoothing brush. This is the one for finer hair. I didn't get the stiff one. Um, I just don't need it and I only need one top of hair brush. Um, and the difference between this and the old one is that um, all of the bristles move and the old one there was a static one in the centre. I actually much prefer the upgraded version, it's made a big difference for me personally. I never used to particularly like the old one, I do quite like this. But if I'm travelling and I'm thinking about, you know, travelling light and my essentials, I don't need this and the volumizing. I'll probably do one or the other. And you know what, worst case, I could always put this in and just stop it in a case separately. It still takes up less room than, say, a round, you know, a bigger brush for styling. Um, and then I have also here, I own the the long 30 millimeters. And again, I want to upgrade these, so I only have one. Um, one, it's much better for travel purposes. You've just got half the amount to pack, in case you couldn't work that out. Um, but also because of how, in terms of changing direction. So, not that right yet. So you need one, I've got that the wrong way around, one barrel to do one side, one barrel to the other side with the original attachments whereby with the new one you just have the one and then you just flip this so a lot less changing about taking off putting on so it's more convenient um but also it means if you want to do you know a lot of people when they do their hair you know much better than i do they'll do you know one that one direction one and other one direction one the other um not just all one direction and then or one direction. So for those people, absolutely, this is much, much better. 
If I were to put all of this in, then it starts to get too big and too bulky. So I'll put that barrel in at the bottom. And then if we put in, say for example, the, the hairbrush, the round brush, and the hairdryer attachment, you can see that's sticking up quite high. You know, we've not even tried the 30 mil barrels. And then when you try and wrap it, you can see it's just not going to wrap nicely. You could do it, but it's not as nice. And if I wanted all of the barrels, then it's just going to be an absolute straight no-go. I mean, you could, for example, if you only used barrels, you could put all of those in with the um, rough drying attachment. As you can see, that goes nicely. But if you want to do these as well, then it's just, it's just not going to work. But like I say, if, if I'm travelling, then the, the attachments that I rarely use but occasionally use, I really don't need. So it doesn't, it doesn't, genuinely doesn't bother me. I can fit in this exactly what I want um, and without issue. I'll show you, it's got a little diagram there of the attachments, which, which is quite cute. Um, it's actually got the upgraded, the picture on there is actually the upgraded rough dryer, the one that I'm trying to buy. Um, so that's nice and then you've got on here you can see instructions telling you what goes in this pouch which is the air wrap itself and then underneath here this is where you would put the plug. So what I really love about the design of this travel pouch is that you've got it's all stitched down here and you can see that it's separate so this is completely protected oops, and not going to get so I've got the original one and not going to get scratched by the plug so yeah that's that out slightly fiddly to get the plug in this bit but not that bad I mean a couple of minutes you know I mean for someone as impatient as me if I can do it then I'm sure most people can um, so yeah you can see it's got fluff on it already where I've just touched it wearing clothing that once went near the dog um, so this is a like I say a fluff magnet but it's also you know when you're not using it this is just you can see how flat it is it folds up lovely for storage which is what I'm going to do now I'm going to pop all this away the storage pouch I think is really nice and really convenient if you just want to have your, you know, your main um, Dyson attack, you know, Dyson machine, your air wrap, just in the, in the, you know, in the pouch like there, and then you, you could just put the. It's got a separate pouch section as well for these, as you can see in the picture. But it just was all a bit. I think it was much better if you were to have it, say, out on the, the countertop and you just want to quickly, you know, it's nice magnetic um, closure and you just want to quickly, like, open so you've got it tidy and you just want a quick open take out. Then I think it's great for that function. For my function, which is travel, which is not what it was designed for, it, it surprisingly, it doesn't meet that need. Um, so, out the two, for the purpose of travel, I really like this. Um, I'll be using it in March, where I actually am travelling for a few days, and um, this can be nice and it's, it's nice and squishy. So this won't it won't mean that this is taking up a lot more room in my case than it would without a pouch. I think that's one of the other things to be conscious of. What you don't want to do is buy a travel pouch that takes up half your suitcase, and then you don't then you won't use it because you go, well, I'll just shove this in loose without it because it's, it will take up less room. Then there's no point owning that travel pouch. And I was very conscious of that when I ordered what I wanted. Who'd have 
thought, even me, so this, so this is one of the shorter videos of the collection for the whole week. Um, I would love to know your comments, what you think, um, one, about the air app, two, what you think about the upgraded air app attachments, if you've got them compared to the old ones, what you think. Um, like I say, I'm trying to obtain them one by one, but only the ones that I know that I will want and use. And also let me know what you think about my experiment. Um, I haven't, I genuinely haven't spent time to understand, you know, the algorithms behind how YouTube works. And maybe that's why I'm bombing. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Um, I just thought I'd do this experiment. I thought it'd be a bit of fun. And basically I had loads of ideas for videos that I wanted to do. And sometimes I get a bit impatient. <laughs> Sorry, look at this one. So I'll move here because he's more interesting than me. Um, don't snore when you're awake though, darling. Um, oh, this is going to scratch. Typical. If it's not a cat bum, it's a dog bum on my channel. Um, which normally prove more popular than me, so there you go. Oh, have you had a hard day, my darling? I mean, look at the state here. Not satisfied with just laying on the mattress how he started. Has to lay on top of my pillows. So yeah, I had loads of ideas, um, and sometimes I get impatient when I've, I've filmed something I'm really excited about, I want to publish. I'm one of those people, like, you know, I buy something, I want to unwrap it. I film something, I want to upload it. So sometimes even, like, twice a week, I'm like, come on, I want to get it out. So that was one of the other reasons as well, and I thought, well, let's just combine the, the two and, and, and see what happens. I'm going to go, I'm going to stop waffling. I'm going to try and make the next videos more informative. And I will, well, I'm going to see you real soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.